Welcome all my beautiful signs of the zodiac and happy December the 24th, Christmas Eve 2018. My name is Brenda and I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing and most of all subscribing and leaving me beautiful comments after these videos. Please be sure to click the bell button next to subscribe so that you get notified immediately when cards go out on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading, but if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I welcome you to go to my website where you'll see the services that I offer. So, my beautiful signs of the zodiac, I'm working with the Gilded Reverie Le Mormon Expanded Edition deck. You haven't seen me use this deck. I love this deck. The graphics on it are so beautifully done and illustrated. The artwork is gorgeous. They are a little bit more direct than the angel cards that I normally use. The angel cards, I, they're passed through what I call a love filter. These are more direct and often they deal with, uh, you know, situations in our life in a more direct way. So I'm not saying they're hard cards or cold cards, but they are direct cards. And I really love the graphics on them and they're very, very easy to work with and for you as well uh, to understand the meanings of. So the, the, at the bottom of the deck here for your reading, you were given the clover. And this also came up for another day. If you notice uh, a couple of days ago, the clover came up again. And so the all over energy is to be hopeful, to know that things can come in, that things are going to work out in your favor. Uh, and uh, that uh, this is a card of good luck. I mean, how many times have you ever laid in the grass and actually been able to find a four leaf clover? I'll bet it's not very often. So when this card comes up, it's like, uh, you know, divine spirit and the universe to sent you this message and it will be brought from them. Now, for some reason, they're telling me to look at the card below it, which I haven't been doing in these readings. And this is birds. So be careful of gossip coming into you. Okay. Yes, you've got the card of good luck, but be careful of those around you and the chatter that's going on. But for some reason, they wanted me to tell you that one. Okay. So we're starting off with our first card. Look how beautiful this is. This is a beautiful polar bear. Look at the lights around him. Look how beautiful he is. How powerful. He is the strongest and most powerful beast of the bear species. And this tells me that, you know, this has to do with power. This has to do with good health. This has to do with strength and protection. Okay. This is a card that signifies those things. So all good things can come into you. Know that you're being protected. Know that this is a card that you need to stay strong and firm dealing with any situations or phases or relationships in your life and be powerful. Okay. Um, but it is a card of health and strength as well. So there is some good health coming into some of you, but know that you're protected. The next card you've been given is the tree. And this is all about putting down roots. Okay. Putting down roots and being more secure. And there may be healing going on right now. And it could be emotional or it could be, uh, it could be physical. Beautiful card. You've got the red cardinals in the tree, the beautiful cards of the cardinals, and you have that rainbow there. So set down your roots firmly, my friends. This is the tree of life, pretty much. This is your family. This is your security there uh, for your future as well. And so uh, it also has to do with healing coming in or healing going on at this time for some of you. For some reason or other, it could be emotional, spiritual, mental, or physical healing coming in. Now, this is the tower, but it's very different in the Lenor Lenormand uh, references and uh, depiction and, uh, you know, uh, how it's read compared to the Rider decks. But it is about, it's not about, you know, losing your foundation and your foundation not being secure like the regular uh, tower card represents. This is about corporations and institutions. This is about, you know, government institutions. This is about uh, protection and security. So any of you dealing with legal issues, um, you know, you, you, you may know that, you know, uh, there'll be obstacles to climb to the top, but that, you know what, it's feasible and workable. It can happen. Any, you know, some of you may be dealing with, uh, you know, at the end of this year with, uh, you know, corporations and institutions and legal issues. Now, the, you know, as I said, Anything's possible here. The four leaf clover, you know, this has not been a bad reading. It's not been an upsetting reading. I mean, you have the protection here. This is about good health. You have, you know, put your roots down secure. Okay. Know that this also has to do with healing. Okay. Some of you may be dealing with uh, medical issues here, uh, which I don't normally get into, but it can have to do with an issue like that. 
and know that you have to continue to be strong because you have the bear here. It represents protection and strength. And also the tower. The tower, again, it's not about stability. It's not about, you know, building a foundation. It's not about crashing down to the bottom like, you know, we see the gloom and doom with a regular tarot card, depending on what's around it here. But this may be you, uh, you know, setting down a foundation uh, here uh, with everybody else and with a collaborative effort in your home to deal with any issues coming in that may have to do with legal uh, situations and uh, things that you're going to be dealing with. But I do see some of you, uh, it could have to do with government. And this is also about protection and security, making sure that you've got that protection and security. Uh, you know, maybe some of you are dealing with insurance policies. They just told me my guide said insurance. So I know that doesn't often come up at this card, but for some reason my guides say there may be some insurance coming in or you need to uh, retain some insurance. Now, let's get on to the final card. And this is answers from your angels. And these are often answers that come in yes, no, whatever uh, types of messages. And this one here is unlikely. So if there was a, a, a question that you asked and you threw out into the universe and you've been waiting for either a situation, a relationship, an answer from something, or something that you're expecting to come in, it's unlikely at this time. Everything's about divine timing, my friends. Everything comes in at that perfect time. So whatever that question was you were asking, know that it's probably unlikely to occur right now. Well, my friends, I wish you a great Christmas Eve, and tomorrow's the big day, and I'll be back again, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my friends.